Hello, welcome to my tech fun. My name is Igor and uh, currently I'm on my workplace in food engineering department on Mata University in Budapest. I recently changed the name. And uh, the reason I'm here is that I try to implement uh, CD printing in some smaller projects with my students. This means from time to time uh, the printed object uh, will have direct contact with the food. Uh, so far I could uh, solve this by coating the printed object with epoxy resin because the surface is cleanable like some smooth uh, injection molded object. I already had a video about this, you will find the link in the description. Uh, the second method is to use some uh, food safe filament and use it only a few days after printing, maybe a week, because after that the bacteria colonies will grow up in the, between those layers. Uh, but the uh, first few days should be safe. I also tested different other bacteria filaments, but now uh, what I have here is a non oilian filament from Filamentum. And uh, I bought this filament so nobody sent it to me. And the reason I uh, bought it, uh, bought this uh, not really cheap filament, uh, are two specifications. Uh, first one, it has a food safe certificate. And the other one, uh, it has that it has temperature resistance up to 110 degrees Celsius. And what is more interesting, uh, I hope it will be visible on camera, take a look at the recommended printing temperature. 175 and 195 degrees Celsius. And on the website uh, I checked the certifications, so it has it is a tough material, usually the PLA is very brittle. So this is definitely something I have to try and uh, test. Uh, of course, I plan to do some mechanical tests too, since it says it is tough material to see uh, is everything okay with the uh, layer adhesion and similar. Uh, but uh, what most important part will be the temperature test. And in cooperation with the University of Novi Sad, I will print some uh, test cups and uh, they will test it. Uh, is it really cleanable and to see those bacteria colonies after several weeks of usage, for example. Let's see what's inside. Sticker. A printing guide. So again, printing temperature 175, 195. Heated wet temperature between zero and 50 degrees Celsius. Speed between 20 and 50 millimeters per second and part cooling fan to 100%. So definitely it should be printed like PLA. I can feel it is very compact. Ah, and the bag is resealable, so it's better to cut this with the scissors because you can put some silica gel inside and then close it again. But, uh, but this material is uh, less sensitive to moisture compared to the regular PLA. So that's very interesting specifications I found on the website. It has uh, holes on three positions for the end of the filament. And unfortunately no holes to see how many filaments we have on the spool. And uh, no printing information on the spool, so only on this piece of paper or on the box. I started with temperature tower from 205 to 175 degrees Celsius and it started uh, very nice, even if 205 degrees Celsius is 10 degrees above the maximum recommended printing temperature. But as you can see uh, 175 is definitely too low, so here I had this uh, under extrusion. And I had to stop the printing. This is the temperature tower and uh, from 205 until the 185 we didn't have any problems but uh, on 175 you can see that uh, well, it had some heavy under extrusion so I have to stop here the printing. But otherwise uh, quite decent print tower until this temperature. And then I started with the printing of my test objects. These are my test specimens for uh, tensor and the layer adhesion test. And they are all printed on the highest recommended printing temperature and that is 195 degrees Celsius. And the rest of the test specimens for impact bending and uh, temperature test. 
These are cups for the bacteria test. I had one failed print, so I raised the temperature of the bed. And uh, this looks like it will be finished uh, correctly. I used some glue stick to secure the printed object because of this weaker bed adhesion. I will start with mechanical tests and the first one will be the layer adhesion. The smallest cross section area of this test specimen is 4 by 4 millimeters, and uh, I will pull it until it doesn't break. Well, they all broke on the smaller cross-section area and here you can see the results compared with the regular PLA. And now let's see the test size strength with this uh, horizontally printed test specimens. And this is the result of this test. The smallest cross-section area was here 4 by 4 millimeters too, but they broke on a little bit different uh, location. And again, you can see here the numbers of this test compared to the regular PLA. With this impact test, I want to see how brittle is this material. So there is my test specimen. And if it is brittle, similar like PLA, in that case, the difference between the zero position and the edge position by breaking the test specimen will be approximately 15-20 millimeters. But of course, I will do the calculation later. Nano island breaking test. And the zero position. So this is my scale. And this is the position of the hammer on the zero position. I will mark it with this line. This is the position of the hammer after breaking the non nonion test specimen. Also, I will mark this line. And the uh, distance between these two lines is 24 millimeters. And if I use this equation, I can calculate uh, the energy in joules, which is used to break the test object. And compared with the regular PLA, non nonion is less brittle material. The next experiment was the bending test. Based on ISO 179, distance between supports 50 millimeters. And in first test, the test specimens broke. But in second one, it just deformed without break. But the values for 2 mm deformation and the maximum load were similar. And here you can see the results compared with the regular PLA. This is my regular test in the oven. So I have here some regular PLA ASA and this one is non oilen I will try to measure the temperatures with two thermometers because this one has small delay. And I want to record the temperature when the first movement will be noticed. Everything started fine and just as I predicted at exactly 50 degrees Celsius the PLA started with deformation. And then at approximately 95 the ASA. And after this the, the second uh, thermistor failed. And on 120 degrees Celsius, I noticed some first deformations on non oiland filament. Really impressive. Hmm, it didn't survive. <laughs> the PLA is almost in flowing condition. Oh, I hope I can take it off from the silica pad. ASA is soft but quite good condition. And this is a non oil and uh, try to. Mm, it's not completely hard, but, but uh, elastic. And now they are cooled down. So on a non oil and I can see just a little deformation. ASA completely deformed, and the PLA just melted. And one more lesson I'll learn from this test that uh, this thermometer is not predicted to be inside the oven, only this part. And now I have to buy a new one for my wife. And here they are our results on one place, as I mentioned for reference, uh, compared with the regular PLA. And now the boiling test.
just for comparison, this is regular PLA. And this is non oiling. It's completely hard. Compared to the regular PLA. completely hard so definitely it can survive 100 degrees celsius because the boiling water on atmospheric pressure is exactly 100 degrees celsius it will never be warmer independent from the source heat because it will evaporate faster but it will never go above 100 degrees celsius so definitely this is one of the good method to clean this uh, non oil and filament or some project i'm on university of Novi Sad and uh, I, we have some cooperation uh, between two universities and also I bring my test specimens uh, and here they will do the bacterial experiments. First step was that uh, they placed a milk into these cups and left there 30 minutes and then three cups were washed uh, under the tap using uh, dish soap. This will be the reference. And then next three cup they were just splashed under the water a little bit and then they were placed into boiling water it was left here five minutes after they take them out and there was no deformations at all on these cups and then they started the bacterial test i'm not really familiar with the procedure but uh, all i know is the results Colony forming unit, the CFU per square centimeter for those cups which were washed under the tap using a dish soap was 35 CFU per square centimeters and for those which were uh, boiled was 8. I thought it would be smaller but uh, yeah, significant difference. And these were average values. So what I learned from this project well, first of all, uh, and that uh, not every thermistor is designed to be placed inside the oven, even if the name is a little bit confusing. From Hungarian, it can be translated like uh, oven thermistor or cooking thermistor. But now I know only the lower part uh, of uh, this uh, thermometer is designed to withstand those 200 degrees Celsius, which is mentioned on this box. I learned my lesson, probably another video where uh, my budget will be again in the minus, but uh, hey, everything for science. Now, about the non oil and filament, I was really impressed with that uh, temperature test. Uh, more than 100 degrees Celsius without annealing and pretability like PLA, that, that's quite impressive. The bed adhesion is not so good by, like with regular PLA, but at least with PEI sheet. I had to use some glue stick, probably with the hairspray will do the same effect. And also, uh, I don't recommend it to print on 175 degrees Celsius. Uh, you saw my temperature test, of course this uh, may vary from printer to printer. The best is if you print some small test objects before you start with some larger printing. Now about that bacterial test, uh, well, to be honest I was expecting a little bit lower values, uh, closer to the zero for the boiled test cups. But these results, uh, what my uh, colleagues from Novisat got and, and that's uh, what I published here in this video, um, anyway, I feel quite comfortable uh, if I put my I don't know, cookie cutters uh, in uh, boiled water for a few minutes before uh, I use them. But that's uh, my opinion. If you have some other experience or maybe suggestion for some other exotic filament, please uh, let me a comment. And also in all of my future videos, I will test a whole branch of creality filaments from PLA to I know ABS, ASA, nylon, carbon fiber. And I hope you will follow me to that video too. Until that, thank you for watching and happy food safe printing. Bye.